just about everywhere. You gotta work to get there, but it gets there. It's kind of slow, but it does the job. Oh, it does it very well. Yeah. Cool. And it's a fun one. It's a vehicle that most people don't get to see. So yeah. it's a great PR tool. <laughs> and we're getting more out of it. We're out on bikes or quads or even the sand drill. People look at that and go, oh, everybody's got those. Not everybody has an original military Humvee. Strapped in and safe. The, whether it's a sand drill or like the Razor, the biggest concern is people keeping their appendages in. You don't have to, but if a vehicle rolls, people like to put their hands out and grab a hold of the top of it and brake, snap, and roll on top of those. So if you just keep your hands in, if something does roll, you do much better. Bam! Got the red helmet for safety. Okay. All right, let's get that on. Okay. So people complain about, oh, it'll ruin my hair. Yeah, some people do. And what do you say to that? Well, alive is sexy. <laughs> so, you get either short term or long term, that's where you're at. You've got options. I like to talk about the centrifugal force and how that applies to the side building and running rocks. All out, still maintain a good city. It's kind of fun to ride and feel that scientific path. You don't get to feel that when you're on the road. And My name is Sand Crab, and I got that back in 1968, Pismo Beach, when we were playing in the sand down there. And our buggy club all had the name of something for CB handles, and ever since 1968, it stuck with us. Myself, Sand Crab, and Mom of the Sand Flea. <laughs> and we've been here like seven years, going on seven years now. And they don't call me the dirt crab or the mud crab, they want to find me, I'm in the sand. And we spend, uh, about year round in the sand. We leave here down in southern Nevada. We winter there. We play in uh, Dumont Sand Dunes in, in California. These sand dunes were formed many years ago when uh, the hot weather dried up the, the lake beds and along the river and the eastern winds, if I remember right. And Mother Nature sent it here. And this was a primary right in the middle of the potato fields and the grain fields. And they're, they're total about 30 some odd miles long, but the play area is from Eagin Lake to the west down to Devil's Dune and Choke Cherry. And uh, seven miles from the lake down, they get bigger and badder they are. Yeah, you gotta be careful you get a nosebleed or so tall. <laughs> they're, they're probably the second to the tallest in the, the Western Hemisphere. Yeah. But what is it about the sand? I don't know, I've rolled on it all my life. Really? Yeah. You lived here? And what are you driving here? Oh, that, that's your right. What is it with the sand dunes? Is it just the, the thrill of going up and down? And... Uh, yes, that was. Never been hurt out here? Nope. No? Never have. So, 
so I drive carefully. You come out what once a week, once a month? Oh, a lot of times, three times. Uh, sometimes four or five times. A week? So there's got to be something about it. Is it just the the rolling hills, or is it? Oh, it's, it's a little bit of everything. You know, you uh, try to get them to where you can build as much power as you can build, so you can climb all the hills up to the top. And, Veins? Is 